It's been a successful start to the second British League season for Draycott Girls. They've won two out of two so far and joining me now is one of their players, Alice Loveridge. Alice, so far so good for your team this weekend. Yeah, it's been good so far. We've won 6-1 uh, this morning and 5-1 this afternoon, so we're doing well at the moment. And how about yourself? How have you played? Uh, yeah, I've played well so far. I've won, won all my matches, so I'm pleased with that. Just going into, uh, we've got a tougher one now, so see how that goes. How's life and table tennis treating you at the moment? Are you playing as much as you have been doing in the past? Yeah, I'm playing a bit. We've got um, Alan Cook coaching us in Nottingham now, so I'm playing twice a week with him, which is really good practice. So. Yeah, tell us a bit more about it. We hear so much about it. It's sort of the talk of the, the town about Nottingham Trent and how many awesome players they've got down there and all the coaches. How good is it to be a part of that system? Yeah, it's really good. And obviously got the University of Nottingham, which uh, who train with us as well. So um, it's good to have a mix of practice, practice partners. And obviously we've got Kelly Sibley and Alan Cook that um, are coaching there. So it's really good. You've obviously been part of some pretty cool tournaments as well this season. You've had the European Championships, the Commonwealth Games. How hard is it to try to fit in competitions of such an elite standard when you've also got your studies going on as well? Yeah, it's quite hard this year. It's obviously my final year at uni. Um, but yeah, it's good fun. It's good to have a mix of things going on. So. Tell us about the Commonwealth because it seemed like quite an awesome experience for everyone that was there for you personally. What do you remember from it? Yeah, um, it was a great experience, I really enjoyed it, um, almost felt like a bit of a home game because obviously it was in Scotland, um, but yeah, it was a really good experience. In terms of your playing level, you're happy where you are at the moment, in terms of you know long-term goals, short-term goals, you're happy with how your table tennis career is going? Yeah, I'd obviously like to be a bit better, but um, no, I'm just always trying to improve, So, but I'm happy with the way I'm playing at the moment, considering you know how much training I'm doing and trying to just balance things out a bit, so yeah. How much time have you got to train at the moment? How much are you actually training? Um, probably about twice a week at the moment. Um, it's all I can really fit in around studying. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm happy with the way I'm playing. So I'm, yeah, that's enough for me really. In terms of the long-term goals with table tennis, do you have aspirations to be full-time or is, is, it not, is the opportunity not there for you? Um, I'm not sure at the moment. I think at the moment I'm happy with the way things are, sort of quite balanced and I'm enjoying it at the moment. So I'll see how things go. You've obviously got a few more important games to come up this weekend. That Ormsby game that could still yet be a title decider. The side missed you when you, the two teams played you in the first weekend. How much are you looking forward to playing them? Yeah, it'd be good to play them. <clears throat> obviously, you love a good competition. So, yeah, it'd be a good match, hopefully. But we'll see how it goes. And you'll play, I think you play Karina, is it? And I think you might play Sarah Birch. Or two very different players there and tough games. Nevertheless, I know that you'll be up for the challenge. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan of playing choppers, so I'm not really looking forward to that one. But uh, yeah, the other matches are, should be good. So. Well, to find out how Alice does, follow us on the British League website and on Twitter at British League.